In this brief video, we will briefly examine the treatment options of pancreatic cancer by way of line drawings and easy explanation. Pancreatic cancer is the leading cause of death worldwide. Only 20% receive life-saving surgery and patients have symptoms for months before they are diagnosed. Once patients do develop symptoms, they undergo scans, may undergo endoscopy, biopsy, and then a treatment plan is formulated. But what are the main treatment options? Let's look into those. For most patients, uh, the treatment options include surgery, radiotherapy, and chemotherapy. The aim of surgery in pancreatic cancer is very straightforward. It aims to remove the tumor altogether. Uh, so let's look at this cartoon and better understand um, how this comes about. So over here is the liver. The liver is connected to the bile tube, which takes bile down into the small bowel. At the side of the bile tube is the gallbladder. The gullet empties into the stomach. The stomach churns the food and passes it into small bowel outlined over here. The back of the stomach is the pancreas. Uh, towards the right of the patient is the head of the pancreas, which is the bigger part. And then there is a narrow neck and body and tail. And at the end of the pancreas towards the tail is the organ spleen, which has function in immunity. So just for clarity, let's just draw a tumor in the head of the pancreas. This is a complex part because the bile tube traverses through it um, and the small bowel is nearby and this tumor can obstruct the bile tube it can also obstruct the adjoining small bowel if it gets bigger so what does surgery in this part involve let's look at that this would entail cutting out all of the structures which are within these lines so that includes the gallbladder greater part of the bile tube uh, part of the stomach or the early small bowel, uh, right down to here, head of the pancreas and the neck of the pancreas. All of this is removed as a single piece. So you can now see how the anatomy looks like once all of this is removed. The surgeon then, of course, reestablishes continuity by using a piece of bowel. What if the tumor is in the body or tail of the pancreas as over here? In this case, uh, the options for surgery are different. The involved organs, the pancreas itself, is divided at the neck of the pancreas and the body tail is removed along with the tissue beneath it as well as the spleen. And all of this comes out again as a single piece. Uh, this is called a distal pancreatectomy and in this case no new joint is required. Uh, however, the pancreas tube over here is sealed at the end of the operation. These are two of the commonest procedures performed for cancer of the pancreas. Very Chemotherapy, very as the name implies, this is the use of medication or drugs through the vein usually or sometimes through the mouth that will have an impact on cancer. It will have an impact on the main cancer itself as well as micrometastases. What are micrometastases? These are cancer, stray cancer cells that have escaped the main tumor and are present in other parts of the body. So let's look at some of the scenarios where chemotherapy may be used. Uh, let's assume this gentleman or lady has had her operation and this is an incision. Uh, chemotherapy will be an option in the first eight weeks if the clinicians agree. Uh, and this in this setting is called adjuvant or after surgery. And the purpose in this is to control the stray cancer cells that have escaped. In pancreatic cancer, there is a very high incidence of metastatic disease after surgery. And a number of randomized trials have now confirmed that adjuvant chemotherapy, that is chemotherapy given after surgery, improves chances of survival. So what's the new adjuvant approach? Uh, chemotherapy given before surgery or before planned surgery is called neoadjuvant. And what is the purpose of that? In this instance, let's assume this is the pancreas and this is the cancer. The purpose is to reduce the size of the tumor and shrink it away from main blood vessels uh, and hence improve the chances of having a curative operation. At the same time, this type of chemotherapy would get rid of metastases outside of the pancreas such as over here that might have escaped uh, over a period of time while the cancer was developing. It is important to point out that I'm talking about micrometastases. These are microscopic and not visible on normal scans. And finally, unfortunately for the majority of the patients, the role of chemotherapy is in a palliative context, i.e. the cancer has either locally spread or has metastatic spread beyond the local confines. 
and chemotherapy now aims to prolong life or improve quality of life. And the chemotherapy in this instance is carefully, carefully calibrated with the quality of life and patient wishes. Radiotherapy seeks to provide concentrated beams directly to the tumour and thus destroying it and improving chances of a successful operation. Uh, radiotherapy is also sometimes necessary to treat painful metastases in the bone and other places, but that is much less common. So let's assume that this is the radiotherapy device and this is the tumour in the head of the pancreas. The radiotherapy device under directed rays which are very carefully guided so as not to destroy the surrounding structures produce high energy waves much like x-rays but with much bigger dose are concentrated onto the tumour itself and thus destroying it. So that the purpose the of this video is to provide a very basic understanding of the main treatment options. For any individual patient, these treatment options are best discussed among specialist teams and then decision, decisions arrived at by examining all of the scans and the data. I hope you found this useful. If you have any comments, please do share these.